idea of this tutorial is to use BondWeb as a method of adding colour to our fabric. I've got my resources all together. I've got two sheets of BondWeb cut out ready to go and I've made them slightly smaller than the fabric that I'm going to iron them onto. Now to add colour to this BondWeb, I can use whatever method of adding colour that I please. I could use acrylic paint, I could use inks, um, drawing inks, I'm going to try out food colouring dyes as I've got that to hand and later on I'll be using some fabric dyes as well. I'm going to use the same techniques I used with the stick and ink drawings but drawing onto the bonder web. Make sure that you're drawing on the actual bonder web rather than the paper backing behind. Bear in mind the more liquid the medium the longer it will take to dry although I will use a hairdryer later on just to speed up the process. On the second sample, I'm going to try fabric paints. The ones I'm using are metallic. On this sample, rather than an actual drawing, I'm painting up the background so that I can use it to layer up on my textile techniques. I chose my colours carefully, thinking of what works well together. And finally, I'm using a hairdryer to speed up the drying process. Be careful with any more liquid based drawings as the hairdryer will blow the liquid across the page. But I'm not being too precious about my drawing because it's going to act as a background for me to stitch into later on. With my coloured background, I can use this in a number of ways. I could iron the whole sheet onto a piece of fabric or I could use sections of it like an applique. Here I'm doing random strips and on the other piece I'm going to start cutting out shapes. For example I could cut out some shell shapes and then stitch into it later on using the sewing machine. Now it's time to iron onto the fabric. Lay your bond web face down onto your fabric making sure that the colour glue is touching the fabric with the paper side up. I'm using a piece of greaseproof paper over the top just to protect my iron, just to make sure that I don't get the bonder web glue onto the base of my iron. Once it's cooled, I can peel off the paper background to reveal my coloured bonder web strips onto the fabric. I've repeated the process with my stick and ink drawing on bonder web, and here's my samples. These are going to look really lovely once I've sewn into them using the sewing machine later on. Please remember there's no wrong or right in this technique. It's all about experimenting, having fun and being creative.